Hello YouTube and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Um, this today's beer is a beer I've talked a lot about and haven't gotten around to review. It is the McKellar Big Geek Brunch Weasel. It is one of my all-time favorite Imperial Stouts. It is a fantastic brew. This one uh, is really, really good. Um, Special thing about it, it's brewed with the world's most expensive coffee called Sa Fe Chon or something like that, which is uh, really uh, should be or is a really good coffee. Um, um, yeah, um, it's on 10.9% alcohol by volume and it's an imperial stout or an imperial oatmeal stout because it's also brewed with. Oatmeal, so it's brewed with both oatmeal and coffee. So an imperial coffee oatmeal stout, you can say. <laughs> but it's a really good beer, and uh, I don't know why I didn't get around to review it earlier, but it, now uh, let's just review it. Um, some info here from the website um, it says here this imperial stout is brewed with one of the world's most expensive coffees made from droppings of weasel like civet cats. The fussy Southeast Asian animals only eat the best and ripest coffee berries. Enzymes in the di digestive system help to break down the bean. Workers, coll oh, workers collect the bean containing uh, the bean containing droppings for civet or weasel coffee. The exceedingly rare civet coffee has a strong taste and an even stronger aroma. And here's some more info, and it says. It basically the same but it also said, so it says some actually also mean that the coffee will increase your sex drive <laughs> so yeah uh, but it's basically the same info on here just in Danish um, it says here it's brewed with water mold hops yeast and Vietnamese it's from Vietnam Sa Fe Chon coffee and oatmeal. But uh, let's just crack this awesome brew open. The weasel. Mmm, smells lovely. I really adore this Imperial Stout. It is fantastic. Um, gonna use my fuller's snifter. Let's pour it in some. I'm having this pretty warm because you really need it to be if you want all the different tastes of an Imperial Stout. Oh, look at that awesome head. So the head has settled uh, it's into a nice two finger creamy frothy looking uh, tan brown head and the color is like opaque pitch black. There's no light coming through this beer at all. Looks lovely. Look, let's check out the aroma. A lot of roasted malts and coffee. Definitely. Oh, it smells good. There is some alcohol as well, but it's in 10.9. Um, maybe even some hops. Just slide them out. This is not exactly fresh, because it, it, this... I think I bought this... I bought two bottles at, uh, uh, around the release time of the beer, and this is one of them, so this is actually aged for one year. And I'm pretty sure that aging this one is going to do it good. Um, Nice roasty chocolatey aroma as well. And then the coffee, the coffee just smells fantastic. There's a lot of coffee in the aroma. But it's, it is brewed with coffee, so obviously. Um, but let's check out the flavor. Oh boy. <laughs> that is that's really 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 good. Oh, this is lovely stout. Um, yeah, nice full body. It's nice and creamy. Uh, alcohol is very well hidden, very well masked. A lot of rich coffee, a lot, and then a nice. That's a really nice chocolatey flavor, like a really rich dark chocolate. Oh, this is good. Nice roasted and toasted malts. Mm. It's really complex actually. I 
some dark fruit as well. It's not much, but there is some dark fruit. It's mostly coffee though, and the chocolate. But there is that like faint, slight amount of dark fruit. But it's definitely mostly coffee. It, it's this is probably one of the best coffee beers I've ever had. It's so good. And really completely coats your mouth, uh, like really thick and oily feeling, and um, really nice mouth feel. And on top of that, it's also creamy and all. It's lovely, but it's really chocolatey actually also. Look at that lacing. That's pretty nice. Um, this is an awesome. There is some hops as well actually in the flavor. This is an awesome. Imperial Stout, and this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, really, a beer worth trading for and seeking out. This is one of the best beers out there. Uh, one of the best, at least, Imperial Stouts, really. It's also got a nice chocolatey tar flavor, uh, which is really nice. But the chocolate and coffee really shine through. And so, Really nice and it's chocolate and even though it's on ten percent alcohol, ten point nine, it is so smooth and drinkable. It, it it's not a beer you have to sip. And I really love that it's just completely coats your mouth. Um it's lovely. But rating wise This is another ninety five beer guys. Um it is fantastic. Um a 95 for the Michaela Biggie Brunch Weasel. Um, really, I think a lot of you guys can get it, but it's really expensive because of the expensive coffee used. But I really advise you to check it out, even though it's expensive, because it's really, really good. Um, so, 95 for the fantastic Michaela Biggie Brunch Weasel. It is awesome. Uh, hope you guys can find it, and I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, and if you've had it, of course, let me know what you thought of it, because I adore it. And um, thing I'm, on, I, I'm not sure. It depends on the price. I can't remember the pricing on the OKH versions, but I might check them out and review them as well. But it was pretty expensive. It was 70 kroners, which is like 12, 13 dollars US, which is yeah, sort of expensive. Uh, but the um, OKH ones are even more expensive. So. But still definitely worth the money and definitely worth checking out. So, so um, check out all my other beer reviews, comment, subscribe, all that. And I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you in the next beer review.